effort to get taxpayers to say yes to shelling out billions of dollars in state improvements. WNCN's political reporter, Bo Minnick, joins us now live with more. And Bo, the governor is pushing the statewide bond issue, but it also has bipartisan support. Yeah, really, Stefan, there's been no formal opposition to this bond proposal yet at this time. That meeting is still going on in the room there behind me, and both Republicans and Democrats were here for this campaign event. This bond, this $2 billion bond, will invest in state infrastructure with a heavy focus on universities and community colleges. Now, that would mean investment in new buildings on campus. So, for example, UNC Chapel Hill would get a new medical education building, and C Central would get a new business school. And we need to prepare for the future. And we have a choice. Do we prepare for the future, or do we want the leaders of the future to have to react to what we didn't do? And this team is saying we're going to prepare for the future, anticipate the future, to make sure the next generation has the same and even better opportunities than we have today. Would not mean a tax increase. This bond is up for a vote on March 15th. Attorney General Roy Cooper, who's running for the Democratic nomination for governor, he also supports the bond. But he said earlier today when we spoke with him that he doesn't support the governor publicly campaigning for the bond. The governor obviously will be running for re-election. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, WNCN News Now.